let us solve some more problems here like you know as i say multiple times in synchronous machines as people are scared of synchronous they will give small small questions see let us see the first question they have given like you know it's a common data question like you know maximum two three steps okay common data question in the sense two plus two four marks see a thousand kva 6.6 kva three phase star connected generator has synchronous reactants of 20 ohm armature resistance is neglected consider operation at full load unity power factor okay so the induced emf line to line is now we know that in alternator in alternator for example this is going to be ef and this is xs and this is vt in alternator vt will be maintained constant independent of the load okay so this vt is rated at 6.6 kV line to line. Now, how much is Vt? Vt is going to be 6600 divided by root 3 per phase because all of our calculations should be happening for per phase. So, this is going to be 3810.62 volts. Okay. Now, he said that, like you know, the induced EMF line to line is closer to is closer to consider operation at full load unity power factor so let me calculate full load current how much is full load current 1000 kva divided by root 3 into line voltage is going to be 6.6 .6. okay so kva kv will get cancelled out so 1000 kva by root 3 into 6.6 .6 will give you full load current line and they said that star so line current is nothing but phase current so directly we can use per phase so this will come down to 87.48 amperes okay now simple simply we have to calculate ef vt plus drop is going to be f because my current is in this direction okay so vt plus drop is going to be f so let us calculate ef at an angle delta equal to vt at an angle 0 plus j xs into ia at an angle pi okay they are saying like you know upf so upf in the sense it will be 0 so how much is vt vt is going to be 3810.62 plus j only xs they have given 20 into ia is how much full load 87.48 at an angle zero okay so how much you are going to get if you calculate this you are going to get 4193.08 at an angle 24.66 okay now how much is ef line to line ef line to line equal to root 3 times 4193.08 okay it will come closer to 7.2 kv okay so how much time it has taken simple induced voltage equal to this plus drop is going to be this okay so two questions see here like you know the induced voltage line to line is closer to 7.2 kv and the power angle is closer to power angle is 24.66 so 24.6 okay so four marks easily we can get okay now next thing is let us take another question that is a single phase see here divided by root 3 into root 3 concept will not come single phase 2000 volts alternator has synchronous reactance of something impedance total impedance the voltage regulation of alternator at 100 amperes load at 0.8 pf lead is see here many times in synchronous many times it happened like you know they may not ask you to calculate but by seeing the options you, you can directly see okay for example here 0.8 power factor lead is at leading conditions voltage regulation should be negative or positive negative because at leading conditions compared to sending and voltage receiving and voltage will be more okay so for example if i think of here again ef in internal external characteristics we have seen vt this is going to be ia at an angle pi so the moment it is leading compared to 2000 volts because single phase are alternate no compared to 2000 volts it should be less uh, my sending and voltage should be less receiving and voltage should be more because it is leading now ef minus vt by vt 
because rated voltage is going to be terminal voltage in alternator we have seen this in like you know voltage regulation of transformer itself okay so ef minus vt by vt it should be less it should be more means that negative or not so negative power you are not supposed to solve this particular question in the exam at all but anyway let us try to solve okay so how much is ef here ef at an angle delta equal to vt at an angle zero plus zs into ia at an angle pi okay so vt is going to be how much 2000 2000 volts terminal voltage at an angle zero plus zs is how much 0.8 plus j 4.94 actually they are considering the resistance also and ia is going to be okay 100 amperes 100 amperes at an angle 0.8 lead so plus 36.87 only magnitude is enough for us because in voltage regulation calculation only magnitude is sufficient so this will come down to 1822.3 volts okay so how much is voltage regulation voltage regulation equal to magnitude of ef magnitude of ef minus magnitude of vt divided by magnitude of rated voltage rated voltage is terminal voltage so this is going to be 1822.3 minus 2000 divided by 2000 into 100 percent that will come down to 8.9 percent minus 8.9 percent because this is less this is more okay now let us see another question the per unit voltage of two synchronous machines connected through lossless line r.9511 match the following okay of course abc I have taken and below that pq rst some some options are there we have to match okay here like you know the same question few publications they have given in voltgate and they have given in volt power systems also voltgate machines also and voltgate power systems also but in voltgate machines they have given correct answer and in voltgate power system they have given wrong answer okay anyway let us see see here means i'm having two and connected by lossless line okay so this is going to be 1.0 at an angle 0 and this is going to be 0.95 at an angle plus 10 and this is going to be some lossless reactants some reactants okay so compared to this it is leading or not yes so it has to sell or it has to send the active power or not yes okay so because for example if i have this vt at an angle 0 1.0 at an angle 0 and ef is like this ef is like this this is going to be leading okay so by delta so with respect to et if ef is leading means that field pole is going to lead the resultant means that it's an alternator which will deliver active power so real power of machine one is going to be positive okay now let us think of reactive power reactive power in this is magnitude of voltages because ef cos delta minus vt okay so ef that is 0.95 ef is going to 0.95 length is less length is more ef cos delta is less than vt or not okay forget about all here forget about all for example this magnitude is 0.95 this magnitude is one okay so compared to sending and receiving and voltage is more so the moment receiving and voltage is more it has to operate at leading okay so the moment it is operating at leading leading so in leading conditions my alternator for example this is alternator because it is supplying active power the moment it is supplying active power it is going to be alternator it is going to be motor that's it forget about all okay so here voltage and here magnitude of voltage if you see my receiving and voltage magnitude is more sending and voltage is less means that it should be operating at leading okay alternator operating at leading supplier absorb okay generator motor okay so if for example if the load is connected at uh, what is a capacity dominated load has to operate at leading so the, the moment this is connected to me in alternator i have to operate at leading okay capacitor is there supply of reactive power means that i have to absorb reactive power generator has to absorb reactive power so it will absorb reactive power our reactive power of machine one is absorbing and supplying negative so it is going to be negative 
okay so see here power factor of machine one okay so actually here only like you know they have done a mistake for example let me change that particular motor with resistance and capacitance no? okay because it is operating at leading equivalently resistance and capacitance and it is absorbing active power means that it's a resistance okay for example for a generator for a generator if uh, what do you see operating power factor the load is leading obviously it is forced to operate leading okay so generator connected with the load it is operating at leading so it has to operate at leading okay so power factor of machine one is going to be leading leading now let us see one more problem a three-phase synchronous motor connected to AC mains is running at full load UPF. If the shaft load is reduced by half, field current held constant, its new power factor will be. It's a beautiful question. Wonderful question. Okay. So let us try to draw a phasor diagram. Okay. Because all problems can be solved with phasor diagram. V and inverted V, like you know, it is B-Tech level actually. Okay. So B-Tech students may depend upon like you know V and inverted V because of lack of confidence on the phasor diagram. But gate students, gate aspirants should not depend upon that particular V and inverted V. Okay. For example, in the first case, three-phase synchronous motor connected to AC mains is running at full load UPF. So, for example, if I think of VT, VT here. Now, let us uh, try to draw I. Wait, what is I? It is going to be full load. So, for example, this is going to be I1. Okay. So, VT is here. I1 is here. I1 is here. Unity power factor means that I1 axis should be 90 degrees to here. Now my EF, if I think of EF should lead VT or lag VT, that will be decided by motor or generator. If it is generator, EF should lead. If it is motor, EF should lag. Okay. So if you think of synchronous motor, EF should lag like this. This is going to be EF. Okay. Now this is going to be I axis. This is going to be I1 axis. Okay. So this is going to be delta. In the first case, now what he is trying to do now, a three-phase synchronous motor is connected to AC mains running at unity power factor if the shaft load is reduced. Okay, so motor output side shaft load is reduced. Means that what about output power should be reduced. Means that EF sine delta should be reduced. Means for example, this is EF sine delta which is related to active power. EF sine delta. Now EF sine delta should be reduced or not? Yes and length of EF should be constant or not yes because they are saying like you know field current held constant so length of EF should be same but output power should be reduced so we have to drag it like this okay so this is going to be EF again because field current is maintained constant so length of EF will be maintained constant now if you observe this is going to be I2 axis okay now ef mu delta for example this is going to be mu delta okay so ef ef sine delta for example at starting ef sine delta is here after that sine delta is reduced or not yes so ef sine delta is going to be reduced shaft power is reduced now if you think of ef cos delta at starting with the black ef cos delta equal to vt so what is reactive power ef cos delta minus vt into vt by xs now EF cos delta EF mu EF like you know EF position cos delta is going to be EF cos delta minus VT is going to be positive. So it will supply reactive power or not? Yes, war excited, war excited. So the moment it supply reactive power, when my motor supply reactive power, okay, generator motor, when motor supply reactive power, you should have capacitive, means that it should operate at leading. So answer will be leading okay so with with full load condition okay with full load power if it is normal excitation without changing field current if i try to reduce the shaft power like you know it will become over excited